Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and today we're going to look at how to terminate a coax cable. And uh, uh, these cables are what you would use um, when you have uh, cabling in your house for your uh, TV, things like that. Cable company uh, comes in with that and if you, you know, you need to make your own cable, now you know how it's done. Some installers will probably be interested in this because we're going to use some platinum tool uh, equipment here to show you how it's done. And uh, so right now we're starting. This is RG6 um, cable. And remember, um, when you're dealing with, with coaxial cable, what it means is the axle, the center of the cable, is not... See, you, see, you can see the sheath here, right? The, uh, the foil and the braiding and everything else right there. We cut it already or I cut it already and in the center that's the center one um, so the center of this wire is here and the center of the total wire on the outside is right there also so they both have the same you know axle type of thing here the same center so that's why it's called a coaxial cable or coax and uh, again it's um, also uses F connectors and that's what we're going to put here today years ago it used to be um, for uh, I think we used 62 RG 62 or something like that it was years ago for ArcNet uh, cabling between computers and all but today you just use this for um, uh, cable TV things like that okay so I'm going to start terminating use termination tools you can get these on our website kind of cool uh, we have different models and on the website you can look them up and you can hear it cutting through just spin it a couple times till it goes real, real easy, real easy spin. And then once you cut it like that, you can see it's cut in multi layers there, and that's exactly what the cutter will do. Uh, it's hard to believe that years ago I used to do this by hand before I had these fancy cutters. But as you can see, the, the first one you pull out is, is going to give you your center. Now, this is just the outside. Now notice it has a lot of strings there, you know, I call strings, they're actually the wires from the, uh, um, from the cable itself, the uh, mesh uh, wires that come out of it. And um, you got to watch those because they could short out when you terminate this, this cable here. So you got to watch it. And that's the foil. You can see the foil right there. And you see how that cable twisted around there? That would short it out. And of course, all you need to do on these is when you're all done, is just do a uh, uh, just do a a uh, continuity test. That's the only test. So you want to make sure that the center wire from one end to the other goes through, and you want to make sure that the there's no shorts between the the outside shielding, which is pretty much grounded, and the inside um, wire copper okay there is a platinum tools end piece nice thing about the end piece is if you notice you're not going to put a tip on it or anything you would put a tip on it and if it was a, um, a BNC connector but this is an F connector so uh, it's a little differently and notice the, the, the little blue sheathing there you'll see what happens when you do it right and you just push it on as far as you can, nice and hard. Okay. And you see it's all the way in, and at the same time you can see the little end piece coming out. Uh, and that's where the signal is. This is going to be through this thing right, right there. It's a little long. So we're going to trim that up. You wait to the very end, trim that up too. Mm. The, Good, the scissors we're using the there are actual um, um, cable scissors that, you, that people use for so cabling. Come right to the Came right the to white. the edge. Mm -hmm. You can see the white pointed towards more towards. The there you go. You can see it right there. I get in close. See the the interior is right up against it. I guess I can't get it to focus. There you go. So it's pushed in all the way. And now, just trim it up a little bit. And you're going to have to guess. You do too much. Just redo it. it you know, the world doesn't come to an end. But that blue 
the blue cover there is going to disappear when we crimp it correctly. There's your crimper. This is a compression crimper. Okay. okay. And you just push it down. There you go. Now, if you notice, see how this blue is, is very little now. Very little blue left on that. Let's see, let me get it close up. Very little blue. So, that's a proper connection of a RG6 telephone cable. Not telephone, I'm sorry. Uh, TV. CATV. Yeah, CATV. You know, the, the stuff that the cable company gives you. So that soon is not going to be so you see it? part of it. And that's it. Thank you for watching our demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you some of the, tool, the tools, just real quick. Cutters. And they open up. And they fit different RGs. You can see. And then, of course, the uh, Lyman scissors. They really work well. And I'll show you how you actually hold them. Yeah. There you go. That's how you actually hold them actually in your palm. And they used to be, you know, you can always tell the old cable guys, they always have scissors. And then of course the crimping tool. And remember, this is a compression crimper. There's others that, that work differently, but this is a compression uh, uh, crimper. And that's how it does it. It squeezes it all together back there. Yeah. You gotta, re, uh, you gotta adjust that wheel to fit the compression uh, um, piece that you're using you know and you can see how that fits in Let's see. do that again okay see how it compresses works pretty good used to do a lot of those years ago cabling houses you know you, you put a couple of these uh, in the uh, in the house at the same time you also have a uh, uh, here let me get that John. So you see you have that little connector there. There you go, it kind of looks nice. And then what you do is on the other side, you put the cable in there. So you know when it screws in, when it has threads, it's called an F connector. And of course the thing it's screwing into to give you such a really nice appearance on the wall, uh, that's, that's called a keystone F connector. That goes into a keystone plate. And of course on this plate right here, i turn it a little bit, this plate you just put a blank there. Or you put your telephone there. And uh, I have these in my house. They really look nice. Rather than having the darn cable just hanging out the hole in the wall, that's perfect. Well, again, this is Jim Gibson from CableSupply.com, and thank you for watching the videos. Please subscribe to us, and please, if you need these parts, buy them from our website. That helps support the video and the time and the effort it takes to do things like that. And uh, thank you for watching. You have a great day. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>